Hi everyone, at short date and learn objective, please. Um, and uh, yes, uh, short date learn objective. Uh, start a new page, please. Start a new page in your book. Underneath that, can you just write these two sentences as well, please? Pause the video while you're doing that, and uh, then we get on with the main part of the lesson. Right, so as the uh, statement you've uh, just written down uh, reads, a bearing is an angle in degrees clockwise from north, okay? So bearing is always written using three digits. So here we have an example. So, um, hang on. Right, so if I want to do, uh, the first thing I have to do when I've drawn a bearing is to draw my line to the north, okay? So here we go. Let me get a little bit of paper, turn it over. Okay, have our line to the north. There, okay. We will always put an arrow there and put north. Now, if I wanted to do a 25 degree bearing, so from this point, uh, it, uh, I need to use my uh, protractor. Now, ideally, you will have a full 360 protractor. If you haven't, no problem. Uh, you will need to use your 90 degree protractor. If you can, as soon as possible, get a 360 protractor. It will make life much easier for you. But you can still use it with one of these, so uh, with, with, with a 90 degree. So if I want to do a bearing, a 25 degree bearing, just as I would normally do, I'm just going to go through there and you can see, I'm just going to follow the numbers. Hopefully that's fairly clear there. I'm just going to do a 25 degree bearing from zero to there. Okay. If you're doing that with your normal protractor, okay, it's the same sort of thing as you'd imagine, yeah. And you're following up to the 25. So you get on the same point either way. Okay. And you would join that up. Right. Bear with me, excuse me. So there, not particularly accurate, but never mind. Okay, so we're up to our point there. So this is a bearing of, because it was 25 degrees, and as this statement says, a bearing is always used and written, used, writ, uh, writing using three digits. This would be a bearing of 025 degrees, because this is a 25 degree angle. So from point A here, to point B, the bearing is 0 0.25 degrees because it's always taken from the north and in a clockwise direction. Okay, what I'd like you to do, could you please draw uh, underneath your uh, in your books? Just draw this, please. So you have your, your line going to north, then do your 25 degree bearing and write your 025 degrees. Okay, do that, uh, do that in your books nice and neatly. Uh, pause the video while you're doing that and then we'll carry on afterwards. Right, good. So here I have, here I have, um, uh, here I have uh, my north and this is my bearing to this point here, okay? So of course, if I was to measure this, to measure this, uh, what I would have to do, again, I'd use my protractor. Uh, I'm going to measure, and I can see that's going to 60 degrees, isn't it? That's going to 60 degrees. Uh, so the bearing on this uh, this diagram, the bearing is 060. So we can measure a bearing, and it's just like measuring an angle. Okay, Just like measuring an angle. And then we can also draw our own bearings. So we can draw our own bearings. So, for example, if I had to draw a bearing of uh, we've already drawn a bearing of 25 degrees if I wanted to draw a bearing of let me just get my north okay if I wanted to draw a bearing I'm going to use my uh, 360 protractor okay and you can see going up to zero here zero on the top but if you're using yours just remember same okay the, the line going to the, the north goes through to the through the zero okay so if I wanted to draw a bearing of 
140 degrees, checking with the right place there. I would mark on that, join them up, okay, and that would be my bearing, 140 degrees, okay. Right, could you have a go at, please, could you draw um, A, could you draw a bearing of 30, sorry, 030 degrees, please, B, could you have a, a bearing of 160 degrees, and C, could you draw a bearing of 280 degrees remember to mark in your north when you get to that one which is the reflex angle just remember this is 180 here so you're gonna have to calculate from there if you've only got a half protractor so this would be 180 190 200 210 220 that's how I would probably go about doing it but have a little play see, see what's best for you Okay, pause the video while you do that. These three questions, just draw those bearings, please. Uh, okay, good, off you go. Right, okay, so your bearings should have looked, oh, looked a little bit like this, okay? So there's your 30 degree bearing. There's your 160 degree bearing. And there's your 120. Remember, it's coming around this way with the 120. Okay, this is the angle there. It's the angle. Okay. Hopefully, you're okay with those. Okay. So that's just drawing a simple bearing. Right. You might be asked to. Let's see if I can find the paper. Oh, there it is. Okay. So you you could be asked of what is the bearing between points A and B. Points A and B, and again, um, as you'd imagine, first thing we're gonna do is do our north, okay? Do our north, so from there we're gonna do our north. Obviously mark it as north, and then we can do our A to B here, okay? There, and then of course we are just going to yeah, we're just going to measure the angle. So we're going here, follow the, make sure we follow the correct set of numbers. What have we got? We've got 110, 105, 106, 106, 107 degrees. So 107 degrees would be that bearing from A to B. The bearing from A to B is 107 degrees. Okay, so that's just an example then just of drawing one there. You can do lots of these yourselves really. There's no substitute to doing your own. Um, right, let's have a look at um, then the bearings on the compass, on the points of the compass. Bearings on the points of the compass. So again, if we start with our north. Start with our north here. Okay. If we want to want the bearing for east, okay, the bearing for east, again, we will go here. So we go, so, okay, so we're lining it up there through the zero. So obviously, north to this point here, okay, is going to be our easterly, isn't it? Okay, that's our east, okay, that's our east, and that would be our 90 degree right angle. So that would be 090 is the easterly point, isn't it? Is east. If we wanted northeast, okay, that's obviously going to be halfway between, isn't it? Okay, so northeast is halfway between east and north, so that would be at this half of 90, 45 degrees, it'll be there. So this is how we would work at our compass points. Okay, and this again would be written then, oh, 45 degrees, remember to use the three digits, please. Going to use the three digits and so on. Obviously, this is going to be our south. Never eat shredded wheat, okay, and so on. You can find the campus points in between, okay. So that'll be one of the little tasks we've got today. Um, so there's a couple and a couple of uh, pro word problems that we have to solve using bearings, okay. So most of it today is just kind of getting the idea of what bearings are. Um, but then, say for example, you've got a question like this. Say, for example, you've got a question like this, and this is actually the worked example in the textbook, so uh, 
you can have another look at this and there'll be some additional notes on it so Geneva Airport is 400 kilometers from Paris Orly Airport on a bearing of 135 degrees draw this bearing accurately using a scale of one centimeter to 550 kilometers so what we're going to be doing uh, the, the sort of work we'll be doing it will involve scales and bearings really okay right so again our starting point is to find our north okay so the starting point is to find is to go to your north okay here that's our north and this point here will therefore be our Paris Orly Airport okay so this is our point here this is our airport okay now let's look at what our um, our scale is so we know the Geneva Airport is 400 kilo kilo kilometers away so we know one centimeter equals 50 kilometers it is 400 kilometers away yeah I know we did this uh, last time didn't we so how am I getting from there to there times in by eight I believe yes times in by eight so eight centimeters so on my map 400 kilometers will be eight centimeters so I'm mixing up uh, this the length of this one doesn't matter does it because it's the this the two points we're looking at actually okay that's just giving us our north so it says it's on a bearing of 135 from Paris Orly Airport okay so I will get out the tractor so done my line to north okay I've lined up there so I'm going to 135 135 from there okay now I have to make sure I have to make sure that this line now is eight centimeters isn't it? because I'm doing the scale drawing as well so this line needs to be eight centimeters so as carefully as I can I'm going to line them up Okay, so I'm going from there through there eight centimeters. Okay, and this point here is then marked as Geneva Airport. So what we have, we have uh, we have our question there. We've drawn the bearing. We have our question. We've drawn the bearing. Uh, if the bearing here, this angle is 135 degrees. So that is our scale drawing using bearings, okay? From Paris Orly Airport to Geneva, okay, to Geneva. Right, okay, um, I think we can have a little go with these ourselves. Okay, I've rushed through this a little bit, um, but I didn't want the video to be painfully long, and I thought it was going to take longer than it did. Uh, right, so um, I'll say we will have a go at today could we do uh, on page on page uh, 203 and 204 could we do question could we do question uh, two which won't take long at all Question three, question four, question five, question six, and question seven. Now, I just want to talk to you. I won't give, won't give you any hints on question seven, but I do want to give you a hint on question six. And uh, it is it is actually quite a tricky question. It is quite a tricky question. So just the, the advice I will give you is just to start on the right hand side of your page when you come to that so when you do the first northerly start more on this side okay and this will be your first airport because you're going to have to do a 302 a 302 degree so it means you're coming back on yourself here you're going to have a secondary one and then you're going to have another angle as well from there so you're going to have you know sort of and sometimes you know, uh, so you're going to have a few different um a few two two different norths on this one okay so i'm just doing this in, in very rough for you 
So it will look something like that, really. And then you'll have your point down here. And remember to use the scale, please. You use the scale to uh, this. It has to be a scale drawing. OK, have a go at those, please. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. In the extension questions, if you've done those and you want to do the extension, uh, there is um, extension question five on page 217 and question one on page 219. OK, hopefully that's all clear today. Hopefully we're fine with all that. All right. Uh, good luck with that, everyone. OK, please ask me if you need any help and uh, but sort of work your way through it. Have a go. OK, bye.